It has now been 25 days since the explosion on the oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. As the spill keeps growing, the fishing industry is the first to feel the effects of that massive oil spill. And WHAS 11 Stephanie Collins found it's affecting the seafood supply all the way up here in Kentuckyana. Seafood is on the menu tonight at restaurants around Kentuckyana, but the price is going up. The supply of shrimp is dwindling out of the Gulf, and so is the oyster supply, which hadn't fully recovered since Katrina. I'm not talking about a fast food fish sandwich. Most of the squeeze is in the higher end and at restaurants. There are still beds over in here open and down in here. But the supply of oysters in the Gulf is dwindling and price going up. As the 25-day-long oil spill continues, the impact is becoming more critical. For Ken Berry, who supplies 400 area restaurants with their fresh catch each day. From the Mississippi oysters to Mobile, the shutdown is growing. We've got two Gulf oyster suppliers. One of them shut down operations last week. Just said, I can't buy oysters. You know, I'll call you when I can. The explosion on the Deepwater Horizon had Highland seafood owner Gary Hirsch running to the phone. Yeah, I've been in this 14 years and uh, we booked in a lot of shrimp knowing Memorial Day weekend's coming up that we could take care of our customers all the way through Memorial Day weekend and keep the prices the same. Customers at Highland Seafood are finding tonight's dinner in this counter of fresh catch. None from the Gulf, but even this local market is feeling a ripple effect. People have to buy grouper from the Carolinas. People have to buy, you know, snapper out of the Carolinas. It just, it, uh, it just increases price across the line and puts pressure out there. Remember the recent earthquake in Chile? That shut down the salmon industry, driving up the cost, nearly doubling its current retail price. And the oyster market had only recovered by about 50% since Katrina. And we're limited, you know, whereas we need 100 gallons a week, we're being told this week we can get 60. And so we are sourcing oysters um, out of Virginia. This fragile ecosystem is part of a global market that takes time to recover, replenish. And in that time, more and more will suffer the cost of this man-made disaster yet to be brought under control. And we're told that the spill so far hasn't affected any of the seafood industry west of New Orleans and throughout the the coast so far along Florida. We're also told that the FDA is throughout the Gulf right now checking for any oil contamination in any of the seafood. Reporting live in downtown Louisville, Stephanie Collins, WHAS 11 News.